Good morning everyone. This is Dell Alienware Aurora R16 model. It's a gaming desktop, one of the best from gaming. And today I replaced a SSD because the previous one is broken, somehow malfunctioned physically, so I've replaced it. And today I'm going to show you after replacement of your SSD how to reinstall Windows in it. As you can see on my hand, this is Windows 11 UEFI installer. Uh, you must should have one. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link could be in the description. So once you create it correctly, what you should do, you need to connect into any USB port. Front or back does not matter. So let's connect it here. Okay. And then you should have your keyboard and mouse. I always do prefer wired one because we're going to work on the BIOS. Means before the system turn on, we need to get into the BIOS, change the settings. So that's why I do prefer the wired mouse and keyboard, but wireless also should work. So that's pretty fine. Now, what you need to do, we need to turn it on by pressing the alien head and keep pressing F2. I will tell you why. Or you can press F2. As you can see here, when you press F2, it's gonna give you the temporary boot option plus the BIOS setup. So use your keyboard. Press the down arrow to go down, keep going. And once you get into highlighted bio setup, press enter button like that. Once you enter, it's going to come up like that. So that bio settings for R16, Alienware Aurora R16 model, there are one, two, three, four, five sections on the left. So those are the sub menu. Once you click here, it's going to open up. So as you can see now, this is highlighted main with the blue color. It means whatever we can see there, okay, this is the bigger picture of the main section. And on the right hand side, also we can see the previous values, optimized defaults, back, save and exit. Okay, so from here, first we need to select it. There are not that many major settings need to change due to have that UEFI boot, because this one by default came in UEFI, so pretty much is ready to take the new system. But when you reinstall or replace your SSD, your BIOS system wouldn't allow you unless you change the settings, which I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, so from here with the mouse, I'm gonna to go to advanced section. And from advanced section, what you need to do, the most important one is the set and BME operation mode. Normally by default, this on RAID on. When this is RAID on, you don't be able to see your internal SSD during the Windows installation, which is a big problem. So what you need to do here, click and change AHCI or NVMe. This is the game changing settings that you need to do due to get the correct USB boot. Now we're gonna get into USB configuration, which is that one. Make sure the front USB port and the rear USB ports are enabled. Otherwise, if you connect anything to the USB port, would not be recognized. Okay, so pretty much that's all from here. And uh, TPM should be turned on anyway. So let me double check if there is anything called TPM. Nothing in here. Now we're going to go to security section. From there, we need to find firmware TPM, which is enabled. That's great. And then secure boot at the bottom option, right? So click here make sure the secure boot is enabled and secure boot mode is deployed mode. That's what I do like. Leave everything as it is. So security section also we done. Now we can jump into boot section, click here. Now as you can see the boot option one and two and boot list operation by default is set up to UEFI. That's what we wanted, right? Now if you click here, it will not show your USB, bootable USB, which is fine. You don't need to worry, okay? So don't get, yourself worried here. That's all fine. Now we're going to save it and exit it. What you're going to do instead of choosing the first boot option is our USB. We're going to get into temporary boot option by pressing F12. And from there manually, we're going to select our Windows installer. I'm going to show you in a second. So save and exit it. Once you say, okay. And now we need to keep pressing F12. Okay. Keep pressing it. You see, uh, that is the temporary boot option. From here, it shows EFI options. There are three visible options. One of them, my USB one, which is the Kingston Data Traveler. So I'm gonna hit enter. 
Once I hit enter, that's all fine. Now it's going to load up. The speed depends on your USB stick and the PC. Obviously, this is a beast, so it shouldn't take that long. Now we can see uh, the Windows setup page. I'm going to hit next because that's what I wanted. Install now. I don't have the product key, so I'm going to say I don't have it for now, just for the security purpose. Now from here, this is uh, multiple service pack here. So I'm going to choose 11 Pro. I'm going to hit next. Accept the terms and condition, hit next. And if you'd like to install fresh windows and you don't want any data, then I would say choose that one, the bottom option, right? Select here. So here you can see the internal SSD. But if you did not change the settings that we changed, you would see here is blank. There is nothing. And under no way that you can go through if you don't change those settings. So watch my full video, especially the previous minutes. Now, if you do have any data in there, you're going to lost it. So before you do anything, very careful, either if you want to delete it, if you want to format it, or if you want to create it, any option that one is select, make sure you don't need the data. And if you do need, don't get to this point, back it up, try to find how to back up, and then back it up in third party somewhere, and then go to that section. So I'm going to hit next, and boom. The game is over now, so it's going to copy everything from top to bottom and then Windows should be ready and all used. So let's check. As you can see, they have fast. It's already 59%. And my SSD, that is not from Samsung or Western Digital, this is one of the basic and BME SSD. Imagine if that was the fastest SSD and it is going to be like rocket speed. So Windows is ready, as you can see here. I'm going to say I don't have internet connection because I don't want any sort of updates at the beginning. That's fine. Limited setup. All right, so finally everything ready. Now, there are a couple of things you need to do as soon as you have the brand new system. I would suggest you first create some desktop icons, which is very important. This is going to give you easy access. You can just get into themes and then from here, desktop icon settings, control panel and computer apply. OK, now, as you can see here is here so you can check everything. For example, if you want to get into device manager, you can get there. Then from device, you can see all the outdated drivers that you need to update and then also you should have internet connection now sometimes you might not have the wi-fi um, module because there is no driver in that case you can connect the wire and then you can go for check updates okay like that and then from here you can go for check for updates i'm not going to do that in a minute I'll do that later because that's going to take uh, maybe an hour or even more because I do have internal PCIe integrated graphics card, which is a um, huge file size for the drivers. OK, so that's what you need to do and do the restart and set up the password for your account to protect it. And pretty much that's all. So I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do have any question, please let me in the comment section. And if you do like, please support our channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.